Welcome back to the studio. I'm painting the floor now. The um, entire surface of the floor has been covered with mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue, plus one part of alizarin crimson, plus cadmium orange, plus just a tiny, tiny touch of phthalo blue. I've made several mixtures in different values, from light to dark. Uh, and then I've also then, toward the back of the floor, made a few brush strokes of white plus a little ultramarine blue plus some mud. And that coolness, the blue, makes that part of the floor go back. The warmth up in this part of the floor makes it come forward. Now I'm going to add the white grout lines in between the stones. This is a very distinctive floor that you see in, uh, in Greece. And so I'm going to start adding that in. Now the sunlight's hitting the floor back there under the gate. So we'll see a little bit of light back there. And here I'm using just some white plus a little bit of ultramarine blue in it. I don't want to use pure white. I've saved my pure white for the tops of my wall. This I don't want to come as, as forward. I, don't, I just want this to drop back, but I still want there to be some white back there. Now, coming forward, I'm just going to start making my little lines in the grout. This is a mixture again of my ultramarine blue plus a little bit of mud. And these stones are all are irregular. They're different sizes, and so I just kind of let the grout lines kind of go in different, different directions. Kind of follow, you know, there's variation in the colors here that I've laid, laid down there on the floor. So I just kind of follow those as, to give me my, my stones. It's just a random, random pattern. And I make the grout lines bluer as toward the back, toward the wall, back there. So they go back. As I come forward, this mixture is white plus a little mud plus a little bit of cadmium orange. So this is warmer. This makes it come forward. And this floor is going to be entirely in shadow because I want your eye to go back to the water in the distance. And then a little sunlight will be hitting the table and the chairs up here, but our main focal point is going to be where the title is and the, the water. So I don't want the white hitting the floor up here. Again, this is my warmer mixture. right in here in that transition. So I have to go back on some of the lines and make them a little bit more distinct. But that's that's just these floors you kind of have to work them back and forth. Now I'm using a little bit of that bluer mixture in here. And for this I am using a I'm not using a bright square ended brush. I'm using a filbert. And this has more of a rounded tip. This makes a little softer, a little softer line. I don't want these lines to be real hard. I just want them to be there but not real super distinct. See how this is beginning to look like that stonework. These are large stones. I think I am going to make a little division here. Just to, and this needs to be a little bit warmer right here to make that come forward. But you can see as I'm starting to get the warm and the cools in there, how that blue goes back. The 
this is fun. It's just random. I'm not really following any reference material. I'm just adding my little lines in here. Those are just large stones that then they put in the white grout lines and they whitewash those lines. And when they get dirty, they get out there with a brush and whitewash them again. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. They're so nice and crisp and clean looking. The chairs are going to be a bright yellow. see some little lines in between there. Then again, they're not going to be real distinct. Now up here, we're going to have some finish out the floor over on this side. Maybe a little bit bright. I can always come back and, and pull these again and that darker paint underneath will darken them. I just want to get my lines all in first and then I can go back and make any adjustments that I need to. Now I start doing more of the blue. And these I just underneath the table, you're really not going to see much of them. They're just going back toward that back wall. Need that to be a little bit lighter. I'm going to have sweet potato vine dangling down right here, so I'm not real concerned about this area right in there. Okay, I need to add a few more right in here underneath this chair. Let's make one a little bit bluer back here so it drops back. Probably needs to be just a touch lighter. This one needs to be lighter too. And that's how I put in the grout lines for the that distinctive. Greek island floor. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog where I show the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting as well as others that I do. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of the video. So thank you for watching my videos. You have a great day.